Good morning, fellow travelers. Just Jeremiah here, leaving my place, headed to court. Uh, today's the day that I was supposed to have everything together and I didn't get it together. Uh, Cause this guy's so hard to tackle. Uh, again, he's slippery like a snake, but yeah. So I just have to tell the court that he is really hard to pin down because he doesn't have his address up anywhere. And I ended up doing the sleuthing. I love that term sleuthing and figured out where he lives. But by the time I got people over there, uh, yeah, it was just too late. So I need them to show me mercy and give me one last continuance. So I'm hoping that when, once I look up uh, all the people that he's like hiding from online and showing on like the Better Business Bureau sites how hard it is for him to uh, be found due to the same thing, hopefully they'll see that this guy has a pattern and they'll want him to have repercussions and that I'm a person actually, who's actually following through and that as much as I could have been better prepared, I'm still scrambling after having lost everything and lived in a box, you know? It's crazy I was living in a box, but that's pretty awesome with the character arc. You know, I said that at my, the last video I left off, I think before, one of the last videos I left off before going to Burning Man, I said, uh, every story needs a good character arc. I was getting trolled. And what a good character arc. Uh, hitchhiking on the road, panhandling, coming over to Hawaii, you know, getting a place, losing a place, living in a box, and then heading towards an awesome path. I'm not busing anymore. Now that I have this uh, great resume saying that I'm, I'm actually serving and bartending at a fancy place, like I don't need to bus here in Honolulu anymore. And uh, yeah, here's my packets. I got all the court paperwork and then the other one's filled with photos of all the stuff that I lost. So I need to get more pr photos printed up. I have to do more research. I've got about an hour down in town to run to the post office, try to get the uh, item tracker thing set up. And uh, yeah, I think at least if I show them that like, hey, I had things lined up last time and I had sent him the letter, but like, Again, he's pulling this whole trickery. He's putting his address as the place that I live so he can't get the certified letters. Uh, it's gonna be fine. And if it's not, I lose about five grand. But it's gonna be fine. You know it, I know it. We use some of that uh, power of manifestation where even though it's in the future, you're gonna send that power back to me right now. Hey there. And you're gonna see in like, three minutes once you watch the continuation of this video what happened so for now i gotta go on my phone and do some research loving you bye oh and last night was crazy i went and i talked about that energy field before i went to work and uh yeah i got to work like 15 minutes early i scrubbed the shit out of the bathrooms i'm the only one doing it uh like real elbow grease i got down deep in the uh the toilet i did cut myself on the steel wool which sucked because so much bacteria and uh and then I went, Allie got there, and I was like, this is gonna be a great, you know, I was a little whiny lately. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of stress built up, and like a lot of, I just wanna help the restaurant, and I feel like the more I do, the less people do. But I told her, I said, this is gonna be a great shift, we're gonna have so much fun, it's gonna be awesome. And then last night was crazy, uh, we had so much fun. I wrote down names, and I said it in front of the guests on the bar with post-its, so no one knew, but we had like all their names right there, so Allie and I could both just walk up and be like, you know, uh, what was it? Jesse, David, Tessa, Marlena, Carla, uh, Tia, David, Angelo, Kale, Shantae. Uh, we had Anna, Lamar, uh, Gabriel. We had. Olivia, Happy, and Eugene. And honestly, that's like all the bar people last night. And I can still remember. I'm getting my memory skills up there tight because with this ADHD, it's not a disability. You just need a focus. If you don't have a focus to always be working on, then you're just going to be lost. So uh, it's just funny. It's labeled a disability, I think, because of its power. And, you know, society doesn't want people like us tuning into that stuff. But... 
tuned in. So yeah, last night that couple, um, oh my gosh. They were crazy. I didn't expect to sign her tits like that. Uh, I thought it was going to be just like, you know, her pulling down her like, there's the punch bowl back there that I live next to. I thought it was going to be just like her pulling down her shirt a little bit. I never thought she'd pull her tits out of the bar like that. So technically that could cost me my job. But dude, what an epic way to get fired if so. Like he worked there for three weeks. He remembered everyone's name and he signed a woman's tits. It was permanent markers. My name's still on her tits right now. Like last night he had sex with her while looking at my name. <laughs> Such a weird laugh. My voice is a little raw. I didn't get much sleep last night. <clears throat> a little nervous about this court thing. But yeah, so basically, uh, I guess she had like, I didn't realize she had done something really messed up. They had gone to the zoo or something and she had tried to, I think she had gone in the elephant enclosure and if the animals had charged her and, and hurt her, they would have had to put them down. So she almost pulled off like a Harambe 2.0. Uh, which is kind of funny to say, but not funny because it could have cost a beautiful, intelligent animal its life. So I don't think they're the most responsible. Uh, but you know, it's like, <laughs> oh man, what's great is like, that's gonna go down in the history books at my job as that one time Jeremiah signed those girls' tits. Oh my gosh. For the women on here, I'm sorry. I'm not a lecturer, I swear. And at that point, I was just like committed, you know, for the YouTube content, you know? This is like urban anthropology here. But uh, that's it, I gotta start looking stuff up. Loving you, take care. Uh, if you want me to sign your tits, go to the Rainbow Gathering. <laughs> just kidding. Yay, continuance granted, I've got another month. So it's fine, I'm just putting off the stuff. I mean, it's basically gonna get me the money in the middle of June then. Uh, so I just need to, uh, wow, there's a delay, it's a lag, that's weird. Hopefully it's not in the video. All right, so continuance granted. Uh, I'm totally in the clear. I've got another month to make sure he gets the certified letter and he's not gonna show up. Oh my gosh, he's got so many people looking for him for money. He's not gonna show up and then I'll get granted all that stuff and then I just gotta, you know, keep up on it and grab the money from him. I'm excited because, yeah, I didn't just lose all my stuff. I can still get back, you know, thank you, sorry. I can still get things back and yeah, I'm excited for that, so. I don't know, I might go buy some cheese and some uh, pie crust and go make a quiche because I've got the eggs, I've got the milk, I just need a little bit of heavy cream, uh, the pie crust, and I got the broccoli. I think that's what I'm gonna do, make a quiche. And I have off for two days, oh my gosh. What am I gonna do, go hiking? Go around the island? Get some cool content that doesn't involve work or this stupid court case? I'm stoked. Right now I'm editing the thumbnail for the video you saw last where I signed that girl's tits and oh my gosh. Uh, we'll see where today brings. Later. Yeah, so I need food to, uh, I love cooking from scratch. So I got some more quiche stuff, I got some, man, some, awesome apple smoked thick cut bacon it's 10 bucks a pound but it was 30 percent off so it had been 16 but it came out to like 10 30 or 10 60 not horrible for hawaii the produce is what kills you uh the pint of half and half was five bucks but it's better than paying 750 for the only other one so yeah i dropped 40 bucks on ingredients for a uh and that's aside from the milk that I bought. So yeah, two quiche, making two quiches is like 50 bucks. But it's gonna be good quiche. Quiche Lorraine and then a broccoli and bacon quiche. So basically one's gonna be onion, garlic, bacon. The other one's gonna be broccoli and bacon. One's gonna have pepper jack. The other one's gonna have sharp cheddar, white sharp cheddar. Cool, check out the mountains. Oh my God. That's where I wanna go. I'm gonna go explore. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna go free diving with the guy that I met at the bar the other day, that's cool. Coo, coo, coo. Which means that, uh, yeah, I've gotta go uh, do some hiking today in the mountains. I'm gonna go make this quiche and I'm gonna figure out where I'm going. I'm gonna go explore. If I had my camping gear and it wasn't stolen from me, I'd go camping tonight. 
but all in due time. Hey, see ya, loving you. Yum, I made some quiche. Quiche Lorraine with shallots and onion and garlic and thick cut applewood bacon with no antibiotics, center cut. And then broccoli and white sharp cheddar. These look really good. I'm gonna eat them. I'm stoked. Maybe I'll share some with my new friend Kat, the lady who's got the great white shark photo. Yum.